Good evening. Police are tonight hunting a gunman after he opened fire on a father-to-be, hitting him in the neck as he drove to work. Two shots were fired into the car on a busy road in an attempted carjacking. In an exclusive interview, the 20-year-old victim told Seven News it's a miracle no one was killed. Safe in the arms of his wife, Onasai Cooker is a man of steel. Not even a bullet to the neck can stop him. It's a miracle. For me, it's a miracle. Around 2 o'clock this morning, the 25-year-old was shot while driving his brothers and a friend to work along the Melton Highway at Taylor's Lakes. It's believed the gunman was in a silver sedan which had been following them before threatening to ram on a size car in a suspected attempted carjacking. I saw the driver pull out the gun and trying to shoot us. At least two shots were fired from a 22 caliber weapon. One of the bullets came dangerously close to a backseat passenger. It was right behind his ear. The same bullet then pierced on a size headrest and struck him in the neck. I was screaming because it hurts. Battling his pain, he then managed to evade the would-be killers. The padding in this headrest is seen as the difference between life and possibly multiple fatalities. Despite the near miss, the 25-year-old continued on his way to work where his supervisor convinced him to report the shooting to police. Police were initially reluctant to share details with his family, including Onasai's pregnant wife, who was trying to find which hospital he'd been taken to. I'm, I'm happy that he's, he's OK. But we're here to find out, but the police said that they can't give us information about him. We don't know why. Scans and x-rays at the Royal Melbourne cleared him of any serious damage. His physical discomfort is nothing compared to his concern about a random shooter still being on the loose. We need to get rid of those people, you know, they are very dangerous. And Cameron, are police any closer to finding who's responsible for this? Mitch, as we go to where the gunman is still unaccounted for, we know that he had at least one accomplice in that silver sedan. The victims have described the wanted men as being of Middle Eastern appearance. They are crooks who took an interest in a customised car and were desperate enough to shoot the owner, Mitch. Thanks, Cameron.